Hello artist, Mrs. Maloney here. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Bob from our One Book, One School. Are you ready? Let's try it. Okay, in the book, Livy describes Bob as short, green skin, no hair, unless you count one long eyebrow and the patchy fuzz growing on the top of his head, pretty skinny, big melted chocolate brown eyes, no eyelids, smooth skin, a nose, and lips turned up at the ends. So I'm going to do my best to draw him the way Livy describes him. I'm going to start by drawing a big oval for his head. And I'm gonna do it kind of near the top of my page, that way I have room for his body. I'm gonna take my time and go nice and slow. Okay, and then she said he really didn't have hair except for a little fuzz growing out the top of his head. So I'm gonna draw just a couple of hairs sticking out the top of his head like that. The next thing I'm gonna draw is his chicken suit and then I'll come back to his face. So I will draw a hood that's going around his head. So it's just gonna follow the curve of his head and then I'll stop it right around here for his neck. Okay, then I'll do his arms and his legs. And so his arms are just gonna come down, I would say about halfway before they curl up and back up kind of towards his neck. If it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. Um, from there, I will draw his legs. I'm gonna draw the legs of the chicken suit coming straight down from the insides of his arm. And she said he was kind of skinny, so I would assume that the chicken suit would be a little bit baggy. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to draw lines coming down and they get a little wobbly kind of on the ends, like that. And then from there, I'll draw his feet. On the insides of his legs, like that, okay? Then the chicken suit would have to have some kind of way to get out of it, so let's draw a zipper. So the start of the zipper that goes up to the hood, we're gonna do a V shape like this. So that space is kind of like his neck. And then for the zipper, let's do a rectangle with a square inside of it, and then just a line coming down for the zipper. Okay, his hands, she didn't really describe his hands very much, so we're just gonna keep them kind of simple. I'm only gonna draw four fingers. If you want, you can draw three or five. We don't really know how many fingers Bob has, so leave it up to your own imagination. Keep them nice and simple. All right, now for his face. So Livy said he has one big long eyebrow. So I like to think of his eyebrows kind of curling up, like he's not really sure what's going on or what to do. So I'm gonna start on one side and they're gonna curl up like that, over and then back down like so, okay? And then she said he has big melted chocolate brown eyes. So here's how I like to think of his eyes. Kind of droopy on the sides. So I'll do a vertical line and then a horizontal line and then connect those with a curved line. Okay, so then for the other eye, a vertical line, horizontal, and then a curved line. All right. 
Now, the part of the eye that is colored is called the iris. So we're gonna make the iris nice and big. It would normally be the shape of a circle, but it's probably overlapped by the outside of his eye of his eyes. So we're just gonna do curve line, curve line like that. And then to make his eyes look like they're kind of shiny, do a big circle there, little circle there, and then we'll color that in with brown later. So curve, curve, big circle, little circle. That'll make them look like they're nice and shiny and melted chocolatey. For his nose, we're not gonna do anything super fancy. Let's do a line that starts on one side and just dips a little bit in the middle and goes over to the other side like that. And then she said his smile was kind of turned up at the ends, almost like it was a fake smile, but I don't think it was fake. So we're gonna give him kind of like almost dimples on the ends of his smiles like that. Okay, so we have drawn Bob. So now I'm gonna put my marker away and I'm gonna start coloring him in. So here are the colors I've chosen. I've chosen a lighter green, kind of like a lime green because she said he's a green, but not a, like a grass green, more like an inside of an avocado green. So that would be a little bit of a lighter green. And then I've chosen an orangey and a yellow for his chicken suit and um, a chocolate dark brown for his eyes. I almost forgot, if you wanna draw feathers on his chicken suit, here's how I draw feathers. I do just a straight line like that, and then a curve on each side. So you can draw however many feathers you want. We know from her description that Bob's chicken suit is kind of patchy, so he probably doesn't have feathers all over, but he has just enough to make him look a little chickeny. So I think I will draw the chicken suit, or I'll color the chicken suit orange, and I will color the feathers yellow, just to give a little bit of variety in my picture.